question a good while back. I made a video on uh, how to make uh, a half inch straight flute reamer. And I, after watching that now, I did a pretty crappy job of explaining how I did it. So right now I need to make myself a 5 8 reamer. So I thought I'd remake that video. Here's the, the old uh, half inch one that I really didn't explain too well. So we're going to start out with this piece of 5 8 water hardening drill rod. And it is, I mean it could be any length you want, but this one is four and a half inches. And from here down, I put it in the lathe and I've, I've just taken maybe 20 thou off. You could take more, it doesn't really matter. Just so long as there's a, a little bit of an undercut. And, and you probably get away even without that. But uh, I need to do this anyway because uh, the small chuck that I have won't accept the 5 8 I had to take a little bit off to get it to go all the way into the chuck that I'm using. So we'll go over to the mill right now and uh, put this in the rotary table. I'm using a quarter inch four fluted end mill and I'm going to pick up the top of this 5 8 bar. paper turn off the noise this paper happens to be three thou thick some paper is a little bit thicker perhaps uh, so we are now three thou above the top of there we drop down three twelve and a half thousandths which is half of our five eighths bar now we're going to go in after we touch we're going in about a hundred thou and we're going to cut a groove right down to the end here. Okay, we're just touching. I've decided to try an experiment and make a three fluted reamer. So every 120 degrees I repeated what I have just done. So we have three flutes in there. And now we're going to have to give some uh, relief behind the cutting edge. After making my three flutes, I returned my rotary table to my original zero point and then continued rotating to 120 degrees. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see perhaps, but maybe if we look from this end, we're going to take a few thousandths off here to create a, uh, a relief angle. Okay, we've cut the relief angle on the first one. We're going to rotate another 120 degrees and do another, and then another 120 degrees and do one more. Well, I was so involved in making that video that, uh, much to my surprise, I discovered that I have now just made a left-handed reamer, it, which really doesn't matter because my lathe turns either way, forward or reverse, so it should still be quite functional. Uh, but I sure wasn't thinking what I was doing. Uh, what I've done now to that is uh, I don't have a 5H chuck for my lathe, which I hadn't thought about before. 
Uh, so I had to reduce one end to a half inch so it would fit in my half inch chuck. So now that we're this far, we may as well just go ahead and, uh, and heat treat this and see how well it works. All right, here is our, our part after heat treating. And we had a few burrs on the edges, so I, it's actually, this is a left hand, as we said. So I ran it uh, in the opposite direction to the cutting direction and used some very fine uh, emery paper to take any burrs off of the edges. In the chuck, we have a piece that uh, we needed a, uh, a 0 0.6125 inch hole in. That's the recommended drill size for the 5 8 reamer. So I, uh, I drilled that and then I had to bore that the rest of the way to the, the 6 12 and a half because I didn't have that size drill. So we're going to put a little lubrication on this and try our reamer out on it. our 5 8 doll and here's our part we're going to have a look and see how that fits well it's turning in there and there it comes out the other side and it's pretty tight so I think we got a pretty good ream on that maybe not perfect but a lot cheaper than buying the reamer for sure I've made several of these things and I don't know if I'm really doing it right or wrong but the results are good enough for me and it is a, a cheap way to to make a reamer or to to get a reamer. Uh, if you notice the reamer was slipping in the chuck that's kind of like uh, why I like to put the uh, the hex on the back so that uh, I don't get any slippage there and uh, that's it.